Do you not like the way that your BMW's old, boring gauge cluster looks? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the fully digital gauge cluster that I'm gonna be installing in my BMW. We're gonna pop out the old one that I have in my hand, and I'm gonna show you the process of how I put the new one in. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. And I really wanna make the whole interior come together, especially with the touch screen. I wanna modernize the gauges. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the two little T20 screws, which I already went ahead and did. And the kit here actually came with this little convenient screwdriver that you can put in right here and remove those screws. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is lower the steering wheel all the way and pull it out. And that's basically gonna give us enough room to slide out the gauges. So you don't want to pull that all the way down and then lock it. Guys, then this should be able to just literally pull forwards just like that. And now the tricky part about getting the gauges out is making sure that it doesn't hit the top of the steering wheel, especially we have this Alcantara. And then to remove the harness, it should be just a simple pull tab. And then this will slide off. Once the steering wheel's pulled completely forward, you should be able to actually just pull it out straight over the top, just like that. Cool, so now our gauges are removed. So now I'm gonna open the box that my digital gauge cluster came in. And I actually have not looked at this yet besides pulling out the little screwdriver. So let's go ahead and pull this out. So I opted for the little black trim cover because I did not want carbon. So this is gonna be the trim cover that the actual gauges go inside of. And as well, it looks like it came with some sort of USB cable. This is how you update the gauge cluster itself. And then we pop this out. And yeah, this is the actual digital gauge. So as you guys can see right there, that is where the OEM harness will plug into. That is a little speaker for all your real audio noises, et cetera, your chimes. Right here in the middle is where that USB cable connects. Now the most satisfying part about any technology is peeling off the screen protector. And I guess you could keep the screen protector on, but I don't want it on there because uh, it was pretty scratched up and it wasn't exactly a high quality one. It's mainly just made to protect this during shipping. But yeah, guys, feels really nice and solid. It has these two huge metal beams that are gonna be used for actually mounting it. So yeah, let's go ahead and install this thing on. To actually install this trim piece, basically these two little metal beams are gonna lock into place just like that. They're gonna slide in. But then from here, these two little circles are gonna lock into place. And you're gonna see you have this little hook part up here that's actually supposed to lock in. And then both of these are just gonna go on top of the circle like that. This is basically how it's gonna install and our little screws will be here to mount it. For this little harness, it basically locks in place. So once this comes all the way down, it is then locked and you have to push in this little tab right here to unlock it, just like so. So you push it in, pull that little slide part back. So this is how we wanna install it, is in this position, and then slide it back to lock it. Basically gonna slide back behind here. I tried to put the gauges on just straight face value and it did not fit. So you basically have to take this little screen off put it in position and then once these two little beams right here line up that's how you know that you have it positioned correctly so just like that really now you're going to go ahead and basically grab the little trim piece and fit it on and i had to fight with the trim piece quite a bit but basically what we're going to go ahead and do is line up the actual digital gauges themselves and then after lining them up you're going to pull the whole gauge set forward slide the trim piece on and you gotta line up those little grooves that i showed you and basically you should have play around with it but once it's in you'll notice that everything starts to snap into place from here we can go ahead and install the two little screws that fit on top but what i want to go ahead and do first is actually power them on and show you guys how they look real time so we're gonna pop the key in hit the start button and there they are Ooh, look at that guys and i went ahead and pulled into an area that's a little bit better lit but i mean oh my that looks great guys it looks very blue because the light outside is hitting it. But basically your BC button here is gonna control everything. If we scroll the little BC button up, we can toggle through our settings. I mean, from here, we can basically go through to our theme and we can pick between simple, comfort, technology. So let's do like comfort and see how it looks. Wow, look at that. Simple, technology, cool. I really like this track look though. And we can adjust exactly what we want to appear on the right side of the display. You can do fuel information. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. You can do oil temps, coolant temps, and yeah, we'll go ahead and keep it there. And so far guys, I basically just went through and adjusted some different settings and I'm really liking it. I'm really loving it, it as oil temps and it has the coolant temps and everything there. It's really cool. But so far it looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and power it on or turn the car on. So bam, and as you guys can see, if I basically go ahead, you can see that the RPMs pop up there. So I'm going to go on a little drive and just show you guys how it looks. 
It's very responsive in terms of throttle output. I don't see it like lagging behind. It just looks so freaking nice, guys. Like having digital gauges there is a game changer, let me tell you. I literally just can't stop like staring down at them. They look that good. But yeah, guys, I mean, look at that. That looks so good. Now that is a 10 out of 10 aesthetic right there. I mean, it looks way better than the old gauges that were in there and this thing was all beat up like the outer shell of it and wow i mean it looks generations newer i mean literally looks like a g series gauge cluster obviously there's little things that don't exactly line up but it looks freaking sick and i will leave a full review on this gauge cluster here very soon but yeah guys overall an absolutely sick unit and i highly recommend it looks great transforms the whole interior and especially with this touch screen, I mean, it is an absolute game changer. Look at that. Well, I mean, honestly, I can't state enough how good this new digital gauge cluster looks. There's little things I would fine tune. I mean, obviously fonts and things like that and changing the kilometer per hour and mile per hour. I still don't know if you can do that, but I will find out for y'all and I'll leave all that information down below. But even as is, it looks so much better having like the coolant and oil temperatures and things like that all pop up right there. And numerical value is extremely, extremely helpful. And overall, I love how you can change each one of those gauge themes and each one of those little gauge layouts. I mean, it looks phenomenal guys anybody who gets in the car you know it's gonna be a mind blower and yeah overall i highly recommend for those y'all who are not subscribed smash subscribe button hit that notification bell so y'all can stay in the loop i will be dropping a full review video of this digital gauge cluster here very soon i just want to show you guys in real time the process of me installing it and yeah we'll catch y'all in the next video peace out